lucky enough to have some exceptional students at our camp here in January. The first was Matt, not a very big guy, 5'6", 160 pounds, and he did not have a very good snap, but whether it be a side snap or an over snap, he kind of dragged the bat, the bat head would drop, and he'd be under the ball very consistently, very golfish. He had a great lower body and had a lot of power for a small guy, but just did not have a good reference points as to where to throw the bat. We want to use the hips and the hands and the body angle to throw the bat in an arc, either sideways, X style, or maybe a little bit over the top, X style. Now, Jeff Hall is more of a sideways snapper. You can see that. He throws that bat sideways, and it whips around following the rotation. He throws the bat ahead, and then it just hangs on to it at the end. Robert Blackburn, a little bit more over the top, a little bit more of a tomahawkish. Bad head punches over the top like a boxer's punch right there. You can see that. And so we wanted to work Matt because he's a small guy wanted to get more power. I think he got a little bit more power with over snap. So we wanted to work Matt on that. And we had Pete here. And Pete was a D1 college baseball player. He had a huge uppercut. He couldn't believe it. Wouldn't believe that he was swinging up this much. But he was. And he, one of the problems he has is he's got a very bad right shoulder. It's torn. It's torn when he's hitting. But no stride. Just a very common baseball flaw trying to go to slow pitch. His rotation was okay, but you watch Brett here. Brett takes a longer stride. Hands come back to the connected position. Watch how level that swing is compared to the ball. Ball comes down and the bat head's very level. Watch here, not much of a stride. And again, then it comes up and over the top. You're always topping like a tennis topspin. Whereas Brett's trying to throw the bat head a level through the bottom of the ball. Much more level cut. Uh, and Brett has a pretty radical body angle back like you do, Pete. Again, look at the, you're still almost maybe two inch stride. Davis Billy, oh, look how he strides and goes backside. Uh, offensive conference player of the year two years ago. Just beautiful. He throws his hands down towards the plane of the ball with an X style throw. Now you watch here early on with the punch drill off the hip, nice stride. And look at hardly any stride at all, Pete. We had to really work on straightening that out. If you look at there, he just kind of lifts it up and set it down like they do. The first you throw is great for developing a longer stride and really having the hips throw it. Um, much better when you start to do that, Pete, just as a natural motion for you. Look how much better that is. Stretched it out, great hip rotation. The punch drill gets us to punch it rather than uppercut. Like a box's right hand power punch, we throw the bat, we want that bat head to whip over like that. Use our hips to throw it. We should always feel the snap, but not force it. Again, Pete, when you extended your top arm like that, that helped you overcome that. Swing simulator, we want to go over the top about three quarters. Um, rather than golfing it up or golfing it sideways. We work both ways, throwing it sideways and over the top, but you know, I think there's a little bit more, less consistency over the top, but more power. Again, ball on the rope, you have to hit it square. That's a nice swing there. Just a great job. Your hips are really good and fluid. Again, with Pete, not much of a stride, but already you've leveled it off and watch. Your knob is staying down. The bat has whip it over the top as you throw that battle on the rope. That's just a great improvement on the stride and the snap. The pipe is great. There's a side snap all the way around, and uh, the pipe really magnifies any area you have. And we want to stretch that stride out longer here, Pete, on the, um, with the rotational trainer. We threw the wiffle ball bat. This is a feeling you get, throwing that bat sideways. And actually, you should throw it off to the right more. The lag lag snap drill here, uh, the third one, we want to snap and cut through it. Just throw that bat head through. Look at it. You really wanted to bring that up, and you rolled over the top. So we worked hard on driving the hands at the plane of the pitch you want, of the ball you want to hit, more level, and far improvement. You always going to be somewhat limited by that shoulder. Here's some final swings here with the high-speed golf camera. Just great. A nice level. You're throwing the bat head. Your hips are thrown. Your body angle is good. You're driving the middle to the bottom third of the ball. Absolutely exceptional. You hit a couple balls in the 330 range. I think you had four or five home runs. Total awesome. And Pete, watch how you level it off at the end. You're still, you can still get a little more stride, but watch how your bat it doesn't golf up over. It actually cuts it. It's, it's punching over the top. Huge improvement on it and nothing but good things ahead. You hit some massive home runs. I think you hit a half dozen or more home runs. Awesome, guys. Ninety miles an hour, you got it on your last swing of the home run line drive. What was the biggest keys you learned in camp today? I'm basically hammering over the top and driving through the ball. And 
I think that little exercise shows how the little exercise you do that gets you over the top. It's a lot for you, being a Division One baseball player, a lot for you to lose that uppercut baseball swing and really level that out with an oversnap. But great job, and uh, appreciate your patience and uh, learning it. Thank you. Appreciate it, Bobby. Good ball. Watch that one. It's a nice ball. Yeah, it'll pop up. Close, though. <laughs> it'll pop up. If you can get over the top just a little bit more, man, that swing looks so good. Eighty-six, beauty. Woo. Yeah. Nice, nice ball, eighty-four. Nice ball. Nice ball. Seventy-five, man. nice. One more. Eighty-three. Seventy-seven. Last yeah. one. Still a good ball. Carried a long ways, didn't it? Nice hit, man. Good seventy. Eighty. Nice ball. Is that gonna go? A great job. I'll tell you what. You used the Dale Brumgard juggy here at the end, but bombed one out at eighty miles an hour out to center field. What are the, the changes you made? What would you walk away from here with? Man, lots of changes. Um, grip. Uh, changed the grip up change the angle that I hold the bat. That was a big thing, keeping that lead arm straight and kind of cocking, getting that that angle so you can get that over snap. You had the bat head lower than the knob, right? And then kind of promoted flipping it over. Brett does that, my son at times. So. Yeah, that's, uh, so I mean, I've got a lot of lot of things to practice on to try and, you know, get consistent with it. Um, but if you can implement it, it definitely makes a big difference. Uh, is it a hard concept? Do you think for most people to try to learn how to get over snap over the top? I think it's extremely hard, believe it or not. I mean, you have to you have to want it, um, and you're gonna have to put in the time with the drills and be patient because it's it's a process. And then I think my biggest thing or, or hurdle that I'm you know most concerned about and I have to really put effort into is when I get home is to continue practicing it, and implementing it, and get that muscle memory um, so that I don't just go back to my my, my habits. Bad habits. Your, your bad head would drop and you'd kind of golf up at a little bit. Uh, do you feel like you're throwing the bat now or do you feel like you manipulate your wrist? What brings that bad head around for you? Um, I, I think it's I think it's more in pushing my hands out and like you said the way we kind of manipulated it it just kind of automatically once you get those your hands out it just it all kind of you can't think about it when you're actually swinging. Do that box do that punching drill with the, with the bat. Oh, the punch, yeah, this was a good one as well. You kind of come over the top and it just gets you pulling and then you finish down. How big are you, Matt? Um, 5'6", 170. You hit about three or four home runs out here today. Pretty good. Hit 80 miles an hour on the last. I forget what was your highest you hit on the exit speed. I think you got up to 85 or 86. Pretty good. You'll be the new sex symbol of uh, sports technique. <laughs>